So we've got three Middle Eastern perfumes to review today and they are all from the house of my perfumes. One is from the Arabiat line and the others are from the Arabiat Prestige line. So if you want to know about them, just keep watching. What's up you guys? This is your wing lady and I'm back today with another beautiful video. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Well, Wing Lady is doing well now. I haven't been doing well. God, I felt seriously sick. Oh my God, it's been so long since I was that sick. Like guys, I could not get up. And it was not just me. I was sick. My daughter was sick. We were all just sick. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It just, it was a tough one. It's been a hard two weeks for me and I'm just, just grateful that I have gotten better because uh, I went through the ringer. <laughs> Who missed me? I missed you so, so much. I'm just so glad to be filming this video right now. Oh, I've got so much content planned for you guys. Woof. Let's get right into it. Today we review perfumes from the house of my perfumes. Now they have lines. They have Arabiat Prestige line. They have the Arabiat line. So two perfumes on this list are from their Arabiat Prestige and one is from their Arabiat line. So let's take the first one. This is Bedwa x -Trade. This is from their Arabiat Prestige line. The packaging is amazing. The presentation is stunning. The perfume sits here inside this box like so. Okay, it's just so beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's stunning. Now, Bedwa x is said to be a dupe of Valaya. Now, that I'm not sure of because although I haven't smelled Valaya, I'm smelling similarities between this one and um, Ansam Gold. Okay, so Ansam Gold is not duping, it's not even close to Valaya. Ansam Gold is duping Oriana by Perfumes de Mali. It seems as if this Bedwa x is also duping um oriana by perfumes de mali but since i don't have access to either of the perfumes i'm just going to smell this and tell you exactly how this smells mm. Mm. Ah, guys if you're a feminine kind of woman oh i forgot before i get right into the review our backdrop changed. It was feeling this yellow. I thought yellow is gonna be nice. So I decided to try yellow. What do you think? <laughs> is it giving or is it not giving? I'm probably gonna film a couple of videos or so with this new yellow backdrop. Shall it stay? Shall it leave? I'm feeling it though. But if you're not feeling it, let me know, okay? So, Bedra x right right off the first burst. It smells like oranges you know like citruses like powderiness like fruits a bit of muskiness is sweet it just gives you that fresh sweet burst of juiciness powderiness it's a typical fruity floral fragrance but the fruitiness and the floralness are well balanced and that's one is not outshining the other they are sort of like balanced it smells fruity citruses that citrus just gives us this fresh quality, this fresh characteristic, this fresh characteristic. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fresh at all. But because it has citruses in there, it makes it smell a bit fresh. Yeah, it comes off fresh. Then it's powdery. The powdery, the powderiness in here makes it come off as a bit girly, a bit playful, a bit young. So it's that kind of perfume that ladies, young ladies can wear. Mature ladies can wear this too. Yes, you definitely can. It doesn't smell juvenile or anything like that. It has depth to it. It has musk in it. It has a background. It has body. It's not just doing the whole girly girly juvenile perfume thing. That's okay too if that's what you like. But this one has more. It's sweet, it's floral, it's powdery, it's citrusy, but then it has a base. That muskiness gives it some sort of sexiness in the background. But if you don't like powdery scents at all, this might bother you a little bit because it's quite powdery actually. But what I definitely smell in this perfume is sweetness, oranges, citrusy, musk, fruitiness freshness and a bit of powderiness so it's that kind of sexy perfume for a lady that wants to smell sweet that means wants to smell powdery that wants to smell a bit fresh but you don't want to go overboard everything is well balanced in this perfume there's nothing giving you that rough edges there's nothing at the um background there are no sharp corners there are no sharp edges there's nothing screechy it's mature enough if you want to wear it 
to a formal location and it's also playful and girly enough if you want to wear it on a date so it's just sort of very rounded very blended very sweet not too sweet and that give you cavity kind of sweetness pretty juicy jammy sweetness not that kind of sweet but it is sweet enough for you as a lady to wear the only problem I have with this is that it does not last that long. I wish it lasted really, really long. It does not last long, guys. It does really doesn't last long. On skin, it only does around three hours, three to four hours on my skin. Then it disappears. Literally, just poof, it just goes away and you can't smell it anymore. And on clothes, it doesn't do more than 12 hours. It doesn't do the whole round the clock thing, 24 hours thing. It doesn't really do that. It just, it goes away pretty fast. And that's really the only problem that I have with it. As for projection, it does project because when you spray this, it can fill up a room. Definitely it's strong in terms of initial spray. When you spray it out, people can definitely smell you. It has siage, yeah. It definitely has siage. It has that projection. When you spray it, people will smell you. They will smell you. It's just the fact that that siage is not lasting so long. That performance is not mind-blowing. It's not doing a lot, doing a lot. It doesn't last too long, but it gives you that bubble around you such that when people come close to you, they can smell you. So if you want to get the best out of Bedwa x straight, you have to overspray. Spray a lot. Douse yourself in it. People are going to smell you when they come close to you. But it's not going to last like super super long that's just the only thing aside from that it's a beautiful beautiful scent and it's amazing i was surprised that it smells this good because i i don't know i wasn't expecting much but it surprised me it smells really pleasant it smells really lovely it's quite enjoyable i've been reaching out for it very often and i'm like why am i reaching out for this perfume very often that's because i enjoy it it's just because i enjoy it i smell it i spray it on i like the smell so much it's addicting i, I keep going back until I have to stop. But I've been wearing it steady and I'm really loving it. So far, so good. It's a good perfume. If you're thinking of buying it, definitely, definitely go ahead and buy it. I'm going to leave a Safa Nigeria and Cadillac Nigeria links in the description box. You can pick it up from there. You can pick it up anywhere you like. You won't regret it. Now, on to the next perfume. This is Al Shuji by My Perfumes. Al Shuji comes in this beautiful, luxurious box. <laughs> okay you see that honestly the packaging just it, it looks a bit masculine to me it's just giving masculine energy masculine energy masculine energy and the perfume itself smells let's just get into the review okay <laughs> so this is our shuji by arabiat no by my perfumes the arabiat prestige line now our shuji is a pretty pretty strong scent <whistles> guys have i ever whistled before on this channel our shuji makes me whistle this is one of the strongest most long-lasting most potent perfumes that i have in my collection as of now our Shuji smells strongly of cloves. You know cloves? That ingredient that we use uh, in cooking, if you're from the north, you will know it as kanafuru, right? If you're from the west, too, I think it's, yeah, kanafuru. They use it in making zobo drinks. They use it in making kono drinks. That spice is unmistakable. Our Shuji is very spicy. It's spicy. It's woodsy. It's got cardamom in there. It's got cinnamon in there. It's got cloves in there. It's got woods in there. It's got oud in there. It's so woodsy and leaning very, very masculine. It's like dark. It's even, it's leaning dark with how concentrated it is. It's potent, guys. If you're not ready, if you're not a lover of very strong scents, don't double into our Shuji. Our Shuji, it's not for kids. It's not for babies. It's very, very strong and it lasts all day. Literally, when you spray it on your skin, you have to scrub your skin off. You want it to come off. You have to go take a bath with soap and sponge and literally scrub because it sticks to you. It sticks to you. It has body. It has depth. It will last forever on your clothes. If you spray Our Shuji, Our Shuji stays days on your clothes. No jokes. Our Shuji, you spray it on your clothes today. Tomorrow, you can smell it. The next day after tomorrow, you can smell a shuji on your clothes. So, go easy with this one. This one is literally a lot more masculine than feminine. The only sweet things in here that I'm picking up are roses. You see that whole Etsy thing going on, the woodsy thing going on, the incenses going on, the spices, the patchouli. Very concentrated in this fragrance. It is strong, it is for men, and it lasts forever. As for 
projection sillage performance it does very well it's a 10 over 10 strong beast mode scent if you spray our shuje here someone in the next room will smell you because you're wearing our shuje. that's just it that's just the truth it smells so deep and so concentrated men on my channel if you're really looking for that strong wood sea scent that nobody smells like go for our shuje by uh, my perfumes it will do it for you it lasts so long it lasts forever and ever and ever ages forever it lasts ages yep it lasts super long so that is our shuje by my perfumes and then we move on to the last but not the least this is lamsat hari gold it comes in this beautiful gold box okay and then this beautiful gold bottle is just like the original lamsat hari but it's gold and it has a black tassel now for lamsat hari <laughs> you see me smiling you know it's good news it's good news i only have one thing that i don't like about this perfume and you're gonna find out so you see lamsat haril is that fresh citrusy musky clean beautiful florally burst of fresh air <laughs> so it's basically a clean girl scent if the original Lamsat Hario is a baby girl scent, this Lamsat Hario Gold is a clean girl scent. Now, for Lamsat Hario Gold, I couldn't find the notes. But what I smell is that it is musky, it is citrusy, it is floral, a bit fruity. So it's fresh, it's bright, it's clean. It's like a, a lady in a sundress. Do you understand? Like on a sunny afternoon, <laughs> on a beautiful sunny afternoon such as this one. Guys... I think I'm sweating because it's so sunny and so hot here. I'm cooking. So if I look sweaty, please don't mind me. It's the weather dealing with me. It's dealing, really dealing with. So, Lamsat Hario Gold is that citrusy, fresh, bright, florally, clean girl scent. The other one has this dark, berryish. Uh, coca-cola kind of vibe this one has this clean this one has nothing to hide if the other one is a mysterious big sister this is the carefree little sister she literally has nothing to hide she doesn't have to hide anything from you because she's just she's transparent she's plain all her cards are just out there she has nothing to hide lamsat hari gold smells sweet bright fresh clean girl aesthetics lamsat hari gold it's musky too so that gives it a bit of a sexy element and it doesn't smell soapy everything is combined in such a way that it smells good it smells bright it smells effervescent but it is not soapy it doesn't smell like soapy clean you know a lot of musky clean scents tend to have this soapy quality not lamsat hario lamsat hario does not have that it's just delicious as a clean girl scent so if you like florals freshness bright scents that energize you energizing scents beautiful floral scents get lamps out hario gold you would enjoy it for the lasting power it does not last as long as the original lamps at hario does you know the original lamps at hario lasts so long oh, guys you know you know this it lasts so long it lasts 24 hours on clothes this one barely does that 12 hour it barely does half also on skin well it does well on skin in that it gives me about five hours on my skin just around five hours after that five hour mark poof it is gone so in comparison to the original lamsat hario this one doesn't last so long and it doesn't project as much as the original one does and it doesn't yeah it doesn't last and it doesn't project so long that's just the thing maybe because you know clean girl scents are not meant to overwhelm you clean girl scents are not meant to do too much be in your face maybe that is why the performance is such but it's not lasting like really really long it's not lasting super long it's not projecting mightily it's just average it's just an average projection average siage average performance nothing that is lasting too long you have to over spray over spray over spray if you want to get like the best if you want to get hours and hours you have to keep spraying so that's just the thing about lamsat hari gold so if you have any questions about any of these perfumes of course leave it down in the comment section and i will do my best i will do my best to reply to you as soon as i possibly can thank you so much for watching and if you have not liked oh my god i'm blowing you kisses and you have not liked the video please like it <laughs> please like the video please subscribe to my channel for more of me and until next time, you guys, ciao. <laughs>